Still to come, this jewelry brand is trending with celebs like Pippa Middleton and Taylor Swift. The founder of Golden Thread is here with an offer for Houston Life viewers. Plus, where you can find festive treats for the holidays around H-Town. And from wallpaper to rug tiles and more, the faux design trends that will make a big impact on your space. The fun starts right now. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Houston Life. I'm Derek Shore. And I'm Jennifer Broom. It's a rainy Monday, but we are here with you. Are your lashes lacking fullness? Amazing Lash Studio is here today to show us how to get the customized look that's best for you. The final reveal will happen later in the show, so stay tuned. But up first, Sundance Head may be from a small town in Texas, but he's making a huge impact on NBC's hit reality singing competition, The Voice. And guess what, folks? He is joining us live right now from Los Angeles. Hey there, Sundance. Good morning. <laughs> so listen, obviously you're a local Texan. We've been watching the show. The pressure is on for you right now. How are you feeling? Uh, a little bit nervous, ready to get this going. You know, Sunday, it's you're the last standing member of Team Blake. And, of course, uh, your coach, Blake Shelton, has a great track record on uh, The Voice. What's the best advice that he's given you? Uh, just he told me to go out there and just believe in my abilities. This gotten me to this point. And um, just to have faith and let everything work itself out. So that's what I plan on doing. Now, of course, Sundance, we all... Uh probably first saw you on American Idol, and you were the first American Idol contestant who didn't make it into the top 12, but still get a record contract with a major label. So tell the folks out there who are watching you on The Voice right now and big fans, what is your plan after The Voice, regardless of how the votes go? Uh, my plan is just to come back to Texas and uh, continue making new records and you know, going and playing live shows, that's my passion. I want to reach out and try to touch people uh, with my music. Um, and just to build a fan base, that's what I'd like to do. And Sundance, you got to share for folks that don't necessarily know your background. Of course, you are from Porter, small town of Porter. But music has truly run in your family from your dad to you. Yes, ma'am. Uh, I've always been around musicians, and uh, my dad's taught me a lot about music. Uh, his name is Roy Head. He's done a lot of crazy stuff, and he's been in the business a real long time, so I've got a really good mentor, and uh, he's my best friend, and I love to take advice from him, and uh, he's always constantly telling me what he did wrong, and I've tried not to make those same mistakes. And you, I understand, Sundance, you have been singing for as long as you can remember. Tell me, was there a time in your life when you realized, wow, this is actually a, a thing. This is a talent I have that, that I can make money by doing. I was 33 years old whenever that crossed my mind. So I've been uh, playing in a band now for about five years. And uh, we've played all over the place and had a few songs chart on the Texas chart. And... Um, I thought it was time to try to get a bigger platform to get the music out. And so uh, we took the, the chance to try out for The Voice and, um, you know, so far everything's working out okay. So Sunday, as you talked about earlier, you want to come back to Texas and, and perform. Do you have any, like, favorite bars or, you know, places to play in Houston? Well, uh, we used to tear up a place called Sporting Woody's and Tomball quite a bit. The owners over there are really, really sweet, and uh, they would always give us work over there. And uh, I, I, I love playing in that bar. Uh, that's probably one of my favorite places. There's several places. Uh, there's a lot of really good music in the Cypress area, and uh, there's a, a lot of really good musicians in town. I think people don't understand um, how good the scene is in Houston right now. There's a lot of really good music you can go and listen to if you're into live music. and. Uh, I think there's ready to have a turnaround and I'd love to be a part of that and, and help out as much as I can to get some of these other artists uh, out in the spotlight. Well, I think you've already been a part of that so far. Now, listen, Sonnets, you've written uh, for people like ZZ Top. That's yeah, pretty incredible. So cool. Is there anyone out there, and I can imagine, by the way, being on NBC's The Voice, that you've had all kinds of attention on you, people contacting you. Is there anyone on your list of dream collaborators? 
I would like to collaborate with Kiss. I think that would be awesome. Oh, cool. Uh, those guys are awesome. Uh, I just think it would be amazing to be able to work with them. And uh, I know that's crazy. I'm in a cowboy hat and those guys are rock gods, but I just love their music and it's, I've always been such a huge fan. You, you know, Sundays, you step out of the box so much. I will tell you, last week with your performance of Me and Jesus, I was, you know, hands clapping, toe tapping. You lit the studio <laughs> audience on fire last week. The song did go number one on iTunes, by the way. What was it like? I mean, I mean you just absolutely hammered it, nails down. Well, I can be real honest and tell you about the third verse. I think I kind of got the Holy Ghost, man. Uh, it was an incredible feeling. Uh, man, it just took over my soul, and I really couldn't do anything but shout. So I kind of got turned around at the very end of that song, but luckily I found my way out of there. Uh, Jesus was giving me a little bit of help that time, too. You know? <laughs> I'm sure nobody noticed <laughs> yeah. at all. Now, listen, Sundance. You're, of course, fantastic on stage, but you need our help. You need viewers' help in order to get voted through. So tell us how we can help rally support, and what can folks do who are out there watching? Obviously, vote, right? Yes, uh, just uh, vote for me tonight. Uh, you can go to uh, Facebook and, and download the app, uh, the voice app, or you can also vote on Twitter. Um, if you go, if you go like my band page, it's Sundance Head on Facebook. I'll put everything out on there uh, that has the directions for voting. Or you could uh, follow me on Twitter at Sundance Head, and uh, can I'm, I'll have everything posted there as well. Okay, Sundance, are you going to give us a little uh, sneak peek, a little sneak preview of what we're going to hear tonight? I mean, are you are you going fast and furious, or are you going to do a ballad? Well, I can't tell you. <laughs> <laughs> I had a feeling that would be your answer. Can you please just give a us little a little hint. tiny hint? Well, I can tell you this. Uh, you're going to like it. <laughs> oh, good answer. Good answer. Well, listen, thank you so much, Sundance Head. We're going to be watching tonight, and we will be voting. So good luck tonight. And for all of you out there, don't forget to watch Sundance tonight on The Voice, 7 p.m., right here on KPRC Channel 2. And again, be sure to vote for him after his performance. So thank you again, Sundance, and we are going to be here rooting for you. Absolutely.